Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish up the edit videos page. Hopefully this will be the last video um, on the edit videos page. We can get it done out of the way. Um, so yeah, um, in the edit videos file itself, we have um, our save button. So we need to make a check for our save button. So inside of here where we have if post equals, uh, if we, our edit button is found, I want to put in an or symbol right there. That's uh, two vertical lines, and that's the shift. You hold on the shift key and hit the uh, backslash. Yeah, backslash. I think it is. It's right, like right next to the uh, backspace key. So you want to hit that button. So you want to say dollar sign underscore post, and this is going to be uh, whoops. This is going to be save BTN. So if our save button or our edit button have pressed, essentially, um, right here we're getting all of our information after we have our get ID. What we're going to do is we're going to say if uh, dollar sign underscore post, and we're essentially going to say, I keep hitting page up, sorry. Um, this is essentially going to say save button again. So if our, if our save button has been pressed, essentially, we're going to... Um, update our database with all the new information, uh, but first we have to get those things. So what we need to do is uh, get our title, dollar sign underscore post, and then title. So you kind of get the idea. This, we have to do this for all of our pieces of information. So we need to do our description. We need our keywords, um, category. And then the video ID. All right. So now that we've gotten all of our information, what you want to do is all the information that on your website that you're making required essentially, um, you want to put in if statements checking for each of those pieces of information. So we'll say you did not submit a title. So inside of here, obviously we're gonna say if dollar sign title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna put all this information in and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so we've got all of the if statements in checking for our title, our description, keywords, category, and video ID. Those are all of the um, the five required pieces of information. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put in an if statement or not an if statement. We're going to put in a bunch of queries. So MySQL underscore query, and notice that we're not putting them in variables this time because it doesn't really matter that they're in variables because we're updating the database. So we want to say update videos set, and we want to set this one will be our title. So set title equal to dollar sign title and we want to say where user underscore ID equals and this is going to be user ID so after we um, that essentially that code right there that will update the database for the new title if one is present if it hasn't been changed then it'll be the same as the old title uh, so we'll, we'll still update it so essentially we just want to put in our five queries so right here so we want to update description and we want to set this equal to our description variable. And we want to keep the where user ID equals user ID exactly the same so we don't have any problems. So just pasting all these in if you want or typing them. And this last one is video ID. So all of that right there will uh, update the database. So what we want to do is we just want to put in a simple echo statement saying um, your changes have been saved. So right there, if we simply upload the file now, taking a little bit to upload. Okay, so if we go to our edit videos page, we click on just click on a random one here. Just click on this one. So we have the title there, we have our description, and 
we have our keywords and everything. And it's actually wrong for the keywords. Is that a problem with the code? Or is that just a problem with me? No, it's just a problem with me. It would seem. Okay, that was just me being stupid. Um, so we have everything here. We have our categories. So what I'm going to do is to demonstrate that this works is I'm going to change the title to whatever it was, and then testing, adding in new text on the, on the, in the description, um, adding in some spaces and new text in the keywords, changing the category, and we'll change the video ID. If we click Save Changes, your changes have been saved, and notice that everything is exactly the same as we typed it in. Okay, so our video ID has been messed up. So, oh, that's that's this video ID where video ID is. Okay, video ID. So that was because there's a problem with the code on that one. Um, yep. Reupload that. Obviously, I now need to figure out whatever that was. Um, whoops! Don't control S. There it is. So if we set everything back to what it was, that was actually PHP. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of the text. And this. And we click the Save Changes button. Your changes have been saved. And everything is shown below. So I'm just going to change this message. Your, your changes have been saved. Your new video information is displayed below. So that right there essentially concludes the edit video section. So we have our successful editing of videos. Uh, but first, what we want to do is on the user CMS uh, page, and I'd open that up, user CMS, we need to add in a link to our edit videos page. So edit videos. And we'll make this text say edit videos. So if we then upload the edit videos or the uh, user CMS and we refresh the page, we now have our other link taking us to our edit videos page. So everything's working and holy crap. Obviously, a problem has occurred. Um, and I know exactly why, and it's because I'm stupid. Um, in the edit videos page, instead of saying where user ID equals user ID, this needs to be where ID equals get ID. So that changed every single piece of information in the database for my account. That is fantastic. I just think that's really funny, but it really sucks for me, because that means I'm going to have to go back in and change all of it. Oh, actually, I'll probably just grab a database backup. So... Yeah, it's a good thing I noticed that, though. Okay, so now if we upload the edit videos page, now if we simply change this first video, changing this to whatever, change save changes, and then go to the edit videos page, you can see that one's different from all the other ones, so it's, it's being updated properly. So that concludes this videos, uh, these videos. Um, by the time you see this video, I will have corrected this problem, hopefully. Um, uh, new source code will be available on the source code page, like always. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.